It was my first Halloween living in my own house away from my parents. I live in a small corner house with a basement but no upstairs, a house my parents paid half for. It was 11 o'clock at night and I was sitting in the living room watching scary Halloween movies when I found myself getting up to answer a knock at the door. But then I stopped and thought, who could be at the door at 11 p.m.? Surely there were no more trick-or-treaters out. I had a pretty good feeling it was a late night Halloween ding-dong ditcher, so I gave it a second, then I shot a glance to the porch through the window. They were gone already. Yup, ding-dong ditchers. I sat back down not thinking twice about it, and again, knocking at the front door. Get lost, I yelled. I was not in the mood for punky kids. They ignored my demands and started pounding now, not just knocking. I was pissed now. I leaped up and swung the door open. No one was there once again. I slipped on my shoes and headed outside to begin searching the bushes for the kids, but there was nobody in sight. Not in the bushes, not behind my car, not across the street. I was done answering. I didn't want to feed into their fun anymore, so I went back inside, double locked the door, and went to my bedroom also locking that door just to feel safer I guess. Even over the TV I could still hear the stupid kids pounding on my front door repeatedly. I was so close to calling the cops to get them away, but that would undoubtedly lead to my house being egged or teepeed. The pounding continued for an uncomfortably long time, more than half an hour. I thought these kids must be filming something for YouTube and were desperate for a reaction, but I wasn't going to give it to them. At some point I dozed off with the TV on, only to wake up to the knocking again. I looked at the clock. It was two in the fucking morning. How could those kids still be at it, I thought. I turned the TV off and sat up with my ears open. For a few moments, my heart completely stopped as I realized the knocking was not at my front door, but rather at my bedroom door. I jumped out of bed, looking around my room like a madman for something to use as a weapon. They knew I was awake now. They were trying the doorknob, trying to bust down the door. These weren't any kids. By some miracle, I came up with an idea. It was a long shot, but it was all I could think of. I turned on the receiver to my speaker system, plugged in my iPhone, brought up the YouTube app, typed in 45 gunshot sound effect, turned on the volume and pressed play. The sound of a gunshot echoed out of the speakers. It sounded real enough. I paused the video after the first shot and yelled, that was a warning shot, leave now or I won't hesitate to shoot you in the head. And it worked. I heard two pairs of footsteps stomping over my wood floors and out the front door. I gave it a moment before opening my bedroom door and peeking outside. They were gone, but the front door was left wide open. I quickly shut it, called the police, and that's where my story ended. <laughs>